Happy New Year, everyone. It's Gail here from Price Design. I hope everyone's having fabulous holidays. Uh, I did want to say, before we get started on making our mask, um, I do want to let you know that I appreciate each and every one of you sharing your time with me. And I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas and a great Happy New Year. So, to begin on this project, we're going to need a paper plate, a mask of your choice. I have three large purple feathers I'll be using, and I also have purple glitter and a couple purple flowers. Uh, you'll need Elmer's glue, a hot glue gun, a paintbrush, and then I have these gold gems from the dollar store, and they're self-adhesive, self so they're going to be easy to work with. I also have a pair of scissors. So, we'll begin on the mask. The first thing I'm going to do is add the gold gems across the top. So I'll just peel this back. I'm going to line the gem up with the top of the mask, getting it centered. Just line it up and go straight across. And that's how it will look to begin. Next, I pre-cut this other set of gems and I've just measured from the top of the glitter down to the nose. And we're going to put that right down the center. So, let me peel this one back. And you line it up right in the center. And you're going to go straight down the middle of the nose and it will look like this. Next, we're going to add, um, I believe we'll add the feathers now and I'm going to put mine on the right corner. You're going to need your hot glue gun for this. See how I want these to look. Hmm. Leave that one in the center and that on the other side. Okay, you just put a little glue on your mask lay your feather right down in the glue and hold it down. Then we'll take our glue gun, add some more glue, and add the next feather. And I'm just lining these up right next to one another. Still holding that down. We'll add a little more glue on the other side. And add one more feather. And hold that one down. 
you know, making these masks, it could be a really fun project for children to do too. Just let them pick out the feathers of their choice and the glitter that they like. I really think they would enjoy this. Okay, once that's attached, we'll just turn the mask over and I'm going to add a couple of these little purple flowers. Okay. Let's take a little glue. I'm just going to lay that flower right on that glue. Add another one. Right next to it. And hold that down. We're also going to be adding some purple glitter on this. Get rid of some of those glue strings. Okay. Now, I'm going to use um, the Elmer's glue. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to paint, just freehand, a little swirl on this side. And then add the glitter. Just get a little glue. Let's start on this side. I want it to have just a little wave movement to it. And then we'll sprinkle the glitter. And you just shake it off. And if you want to, when you get finished uh, with your design, you can take hairspray and spray over the glitter just to hold it in place. I think we're going to add a little more on this side. Okay, we'll use the glitter again and shake it off. I think this is fun project. And so here is our party mat. Just that easy. I'll show you, um, I had made this gold one. I made this one uh, with the black feathers and I added black glitter and I only took the gems halfway down the nose on this one. So there's that one. And there's the other one. I hope you enjoyed this project and I want to show you one other thing before we go. Let me just sit that down for a minute right there. I purchased a package at uh, Hobby Lobby of props and I just think these are so cute. Uh, if you're going to have a party for New Year's Eve you could put a piece of fabric of your color choice, just tack it up on one of your walls, and then you could have all these cute little props for your guests. Wouldn't that be a fun picture? 
And there's um, little crowns. And of course, the Happy New Year sign. And the bow ties. I just wanted to share that with you. And this little package, it was um, $3 and some change at Hobby Lobby. So if you're gonna do a photo bo booth, uh, you can find these at Hobby Lobby. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful new year. And I hope you like this project. Thank you so very much. I'll try to get it a little closer to you. Let me bring the other one close. You could use this even as a centerpiece. That would be so cute uh, at the top of a vase. Happy New Year, everyone.